So this is going to be fairly quick. This is a fairly straightforward process, but also if you're like me, it's not really going to click with you until you do it a couple times yourself. So if you have any questions about this afterwards, reach out to myself or the entire Quicket team can walk you through any of this. Uh, hopefully this isn't too painful. I don't normally run Windows, but I had to for this click share thing. So we'll see if I remember what I'm doing. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go to the Chicago Python chippy.org and we're going to fork this project. So there's a couple reasons you might want to fork something. If you're forking because you're contributing to open source, it's because you probably don't have rights to commit to the actual repo itself. For personal use or company use, you may want to fork something in, at a certain point in time so that you can manipulate it to do things you want that necessarily the owners didn't want it to do, and hopefully, long term, get those changes merged back in. Um, this is fairly easy. We just fork. All right. So to contribute to the open source project, a lot of times you'll look through the issues that are open, but we'll be doing that later today. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you see something that you think it would make a project better, you can open up a pull request for that, and then it's up to the contributors and owners of the repo to decide if they will actually want to accept that. Uh, we discussed this earlier. What we saw was lacking in the chippy.org project is there's no contributor spot, so no one gets credit for contributing to this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create a contributor's file and I'm going to contribute it. So this one going to get cloned. We this earlier. So contributors.md is a markdown file. It's actually pretty common across open source projects for where you want to go to add contributors. So let's do some fairly simple markdown. It just says Problem. Should be org contributors. Uh, a really nice line. If somebody wants to do another pull request later today to make this look better and not a front end person. And then we just do Simple, we're done here. Let me just go back over. Get add. Get. Commit dash M for message. Give it a commit message. If you're working on an issue later tonight, you'll probably want to reference that issue number so it's easy for the maintainers to link back and see what's actually being referenced. What's up? Locally, probably. We'll, we'll push to a different branch. Uh, is there a is there a way in? Is there a yes? Is there anything in the Chippy repo that talks walks them through how to contribute? And no, we don't have another again. But yeah, whatever number you're assigned, you start giving them with pound and then that number. So if it's like one seventy two, pound one seventy two, they'll be able to look at it and get back to the the location. So we just uh, get push origin. My new branch is going to be contributors. Fairly straightforward. Oh man. What did I miss? What did I do wrong? Oh, I know what I did wrong. I did not actually. Did I? <laughs> Right. 
Yeah, you check out the branch. Check out the branch. Oh man, I've done getting command line so long. I can check out. Dash P. Status, here we are. GitHub's really nice. It shows you that something just opened. Do you want to compare and open pull requests? Just click yes or click the button. You can see here that the base repository is the Chicago Python group. Uh, their master branch, which I suppose, I suppose is where you want your pull request going. And then my repository on the contributors branch. So if you had any more notes or comments you want to add about the work you've done, this is fairly straightforward. So there's not a lot to add. I just hit create pull request. Go. Four requests open on Chicago Python. We're adding contributors. So now it's up to one of these folks to go in and approve it. All right, that's pretty quick. Any questions? All right, let's get started coding. If there are any issues getting set up on your local environments, we do have uh, four laptops with the folks back there that we can use. I know there may be some issues on Windows, especially if you're running uh, 10 Home, 